Hi there, I'm Jennifer Perkins, and today I'm gonna show you how to transform wooden cooking spoons, these easy to find, super cheap, into adorable one-of-a-kind puppets. So cute, easy to make, and kind of addicting. Not gonna lie to you, I kinda can't stop coloring on them. All you need are some permabank markers, some souffle pens, some gel pens for a few little accents. I even added some yarn and some fabric and maybe a little bit of trim because you can never have too much. So anyway, come with me. Let's get started and you will see why I cannot stop doodling on wooden utensils. All right, let's get started on our wooden spoon people. First thing you're gonna need is obviously some wooden spoons and then some permapaint markers, some jelly roll pens and some souffle pens. So get all your goodies out and let's get started. You can see that I'm working on a larger wooden spoon. I'm using my permapaint marker to add hair. The nice thing I like about permapakes, among other things, is that they have a fine tip and a larger tip so you could use like the larger tip to knock out something kind of more bulky or cumbersome like her hair and then you can go back in with the finer tip and add smaller details like I am right now with her eyes little closed eyes with long eyelashes when I was looking for inspiration as to what to put on these spoons I really look to my art journal I tend to paint kind of whimsical eclectic faces so that really translates well to my spoon people um, now I'm adding some little red lips. You know, just because I'm making mine funky doesn't mean that you have to. I think these would be great as puppets for little kids, like make a spoon that looks like each member of their family. I recently had a four-year-old who stole my spoons and put on a very elaborate production with them, so I know from experience that kids like to play with them. I'm now going in with a jelly roll pen and adding little hearts on the cheeks. I love the different colors that jelly roll comes in, especially the neons. Neon always looks so good up against kind of that raw wood color. Now I'm going to go back in and add some freckles with the neon jelly roll. You know, if you're making spoon people, you might as well add things like freckles and make them eclectic, right? So just kind of right there on top. Typically with the jelly roll, they're great right on top of the wood, but with the souffle pens, I liked the way they looked better on top of the permapaint markers. They're fine on top of paper by themselves, but on the on the spoons, they look better on top of the permapaint marker. You can see that the yellow like really pops and you know, the longer drying time it has, it's going to start looking even brighter and even better. So, once I was done with her hair, then I decided I would go back in and give her an outfit. I've done several of these where I've added yarn outfits or washi tape or pom-pom fringe. Really, as elaborate as you want to get, the sky is the limit. After that, I brought my love of scrapbooking over to these spoon people, and I started going through all my little bitty embellishments and adding things like bows to people's hair and flowers in their hair and giving little spoons bow ties. I just love the way they look. They're so fun. You can just kind of endlessly add earrings or outfits and, you know, accessorize them just like you love to do yourself. So they're really simple, really easy, and extra super duper cute. I hope that you have tons of fun making your own set of spoon people. 